Mrs. Waters is in her greenhouse. I wonder what she's doing. Do you think she's forgotten it's time for our nature diary debate? I'll go and ask her. Okay, let's just close the door because it's quite windy again today. What shall we look at first? Well, let's have a look at the beans because they've really grown. Okay. Here are a couple of the beans, Beaky. Look at these. Look how much they've grown. And they'll soon need to be outside with some poles to climb up just like the sweet peas. Beaky, everything's growing really well now. We've had such lovely warm days. The cabbages and cauliflowers are ready to get planted outside, but before I can do that, I'm going to have to fix some nets up to protect them from the pigeons and the slugs. The sweet peas seem to have shot up over the last week. They were tiny, weren't they? Let's have a look down here. Can you see these? These are mange too, so that's a different kind of pea. These are peas that you can eat, the whole thing, the whole pod. Can we take the lids off the propagators and see what it's like inside there? Yep, yeah, let's go do it now. Gosh, look at these! Yep, they were only planted last week and these in this one here, these are sweet corn. And next to them, we've got some courgettes. They've just shot up very quickly. In fact, those two propagators have shot up a lot quicker than the big one that we started with. This still looks quite empty, so I'm wondering whether or not the seeds we planted for the sweet corn in there haven't grown because they were too old. And also that propagator was in the shade, so it wasn't getting as much heat. But these two have really blossomed, haven't they? What are these, Mrs. Waters? Those are the marrows. And again, they've really blossomed. The leaves have become very big, haven't they? I think we're going to have to plant a few things out in the garden very soon. Let's have a look at something else that doesn't seem to have worked yet. Look here, Beaky, these tomatoes haven't grown at all, so I'm wondering if those seeds were too old as well. Because the ones above, up here, are really doing well. They're a different kind of tomato, so I'll just give the others perhaps another week and see if anything happens, and if it doesn't, we'll start again. <laughs> Where shall we go next, Mrs. Waters, today? Let's go to the kitchen garden. Have you done lots in the garden? I have. Let's go have a look. These are the strawberry plants, Beaky, and they're really starting to grow now. They're getting much taller. Why do you put a net over their top? To protect them. What from? Birds. Oh, I know really. I love strawberries. Yes, I don't think there's anything growing in the garden that you don't seem to like. The rhubarb's grown in just three weeks. It's huge. It is, and it's ready for picking, so I'll show you how to do that, Beaky. Okay. Just step out of the way for me. So when we pull rhubarb, you have to get hold of the stem near the bottom, and then you twist and pull. There we go, and that's the rhubarb. Now, look at that stem. It's quite thick, isn't it? Nice and red. The stem is the part we eat, but the leaf, which is huge, is poisonous and we mustn't eat that at all. So, rhubarb crumble tonight. I'll just get a bit more. Why is there green string there? That's to show me where I've planted some potatoes and I can just see one tiny leaf popping up 
near the back which means the potatoes are starting to grow but I must water them because we haven't had any rain and that will help them to grow quicker. That's a nice tent isn't it? It is, it's to keep the insects off the plants that are going to grow underneath. What have you planted there? I've put some carrots in so that netting is to keep the carrot fly off and the slugs out as well. Right, I like slugs. I know you do. This wasn't here last week, was it? No, I've built that to protect, well not protect, but for the blackberry plant to grow up so that when the sun shines, the berries can form and then they'll ripen. It was all laid across the ground, which wasn't very good for the fruit and would mean that the mice would get it. So we needed to give it something to grow up. I like blackberries. I know you do. Can you see anything different about the blossom on this tree, Beaky? Yes, it's pink. That's right. The apple trees have pink blossom. What are the other ones then? The other ones are the pear trees. And you can see that one over there has got lots of lovely blossom on it now. That means we'll get lots of lovely pears. Great. I like pears. Why doesn't Poppy have her coat on today even though it's windy? Well, it's windy, but it's quite warm. And at this time of the year, the horse's hair is starting to fall out. She's starting to molt. In the winter, they grow extra hair to keep them warm. Lots of animals do that. They all have different ways of surviving oh, in the, the cold. The tulips are out. And there are some tall ones as well. I wonder what colour they're going to be. What's Flo doing? She's chewing a stick that fell off the tree, Beaky. And I think she's been in the horse's water because she's all wet. She's a funny dog, isn't she? She is, but she's good fun. Look, Mrs. Waters, the tulips in the pot have got their heads on as well. They have, but we're not sure what colour they're going to be. And, and look at the rhododendron. All oh, the buds have opened. It's not a rhododendron, baby. What is it then? A rhododendron. Oh, that's quite tricky, isn't it? They're poisonous to horses, so we mustn't let the horses in here. Righto, keep the gate shut. Look, the little buds on this plant are now turning blue. This is the Ceanothis, and they're really pretty. When it all comes out and all the blue flowers open, it will look gorgeous. The ladybirds have gone. They have. Where have they gone? They've gone to do their job, Beaky. They've got to go and eat all the little green fly, the aphids, which spoil the plants. So they've woken up now properly? Yep, for the spring and the summer. And also so that they can have some more baby ladybirds. Right. So windy today, Beaky. That I think we better stop there. But just before we do, have a look at the ends of the branches on this Christmas tree. What can you see? I can see some little buds. Yes, and they will open out. They'll gradually turn light green and open out into some new parts of the branch. That's how it grows. It's to be back inside. It's nice to be out of the wind, isn't it? It is. It was blowing my feathers all over the place. <laughs> and my hair. Anyway, we need to do something with the rhubarb. We need to make it crumble.